Yo, what up, what up, what up? There's your boy King Series, straight from Busy Home Beat. Yes, I've made an Afro beat here. That's my own song, yeah, yeah, very nice one. So I just want to know if this song can actually be a hit song. But I, as the title goes, I'm just going to show you how I did process this vocals to sound nice and clean. So without wasting my time, let's listen to the song, some part of the song. Then after that, we just um, move ahead and show you the process. Okay. That's a song, very nice, beautiful song. I don't know if it's a hit song or it's not a hit song, but I believe this is a hit song, right? So this how I actually process it. You know, I use C1 gate. You can use noise gate or um, S click or any like any gate just to um, block the background noises of your own. So I think somebody comment down on my other video saying um, he or she want to know how to I mean clean vocals you get it so to get a very clean and nice vocals it starts right from um i'll do a proper tutorial about that for you but i just want to uh, brush through this using this um vocals here for you so i'll do a proper video on how to clean vocals and everything for you so if you want to clean the vocals if you like this let's see let me solo this vocals and listen so if you want to clean it you can actually just um, double click this and just make sure you come to this side then make sure you're having something like this yes then you just select everything here yeah for me i've actually set a shortcut key for it as a so when i press a everything here will actually clean okay i've not actually said so if you want to set the shortcut key, you can come to key comment and um you come to processing pro processing processing Okay, process then you look for uh, silence then you just set a key for it so I'll just press a then assign yes assign so if I want to clean it I've selected this area then I press a you can see it has actually cleaned everything for me you get it yeah, so you can actually remove this noises in between your breath control and everything you can just use that one to clean everything for your own self so Today we are not doing about noise removal and everything. I'll do a proper tutorial about that for you, but I just do a brief one for you guys. So what I did here is I used the gate to block all those background noises. This um side, yes, this small small noises in between. I just block it. So if I'm supposed to make sure I bring this one way up, if I do way up, you can actually see small small white white waves in between this. So the gate is actually doing that for us. And the next thing is auto tune. You know the work of auto tune, yes. And me, I don't like to do too much of the tune whereby it will be sounding like robot. People will just move way down zero. If you play something like this, listen to how it sounds. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. People will also will just move to maybe six, seven. Um, yeah, something like this. Ooh, yeah. Ah, yeah. I get my life, you get your life. But they do things I think is best for mine. I don't like it to be like that. I want it to be actually na natural. You get it? Yes. I don't want it to be sounding like a robot sound or anything. <laughs> Just make sure you sing well and like re record it properly. Don't try to use auto tune to make it sound nice. It doesn't work that way. Yes. If you want professional sound and professional work, you are, you are serious about your engineering work, then try as much as possible well to know how to record properly and also, um, okay so the next thing is i just rewire um send everything to this group yes 
created a group and send it to group so group one is my lead vocals so i have these are the presets i have my eq on it i cut the low ends and by frequencies which i actually don't like i know most of you actually do too much cutting it depends on the vocals that you have and if there's too much and um, bad frequencies inside then you do a whole lot of cutting yes but this i don't think this vocals has too many uh, bad uh, frequencies inside so because i took my time to record it for well, us I have to be doing the cleaning. I wouldn't be taking away more frequencies to get it. Yes. So this is the frequency that I actually took out. And um, you know the work of the compressor. I always tell you, you know the reason why you are putting a certain plugin on your effect. Don't just follow the norm that whenever you watch tutorial or you see people just putting certain stuff on it. So you, too, you just want to put it so that your vocals and every, your mixes will sound nice. No, it doesn't work like that way. I'm putting the EQ on it because I just want to... um. I mean, um, take background vocal, uh, take the bad frequencies from inside. You get that's why I just put the EQ on it, and I put the auto tune on it because I just wanted to tune the vocals a little bit, not too much. You get it, and I put the gate just to block some background noises. I'm explaining everything to you. I'm putting this compressor on it because if you look at the vocal waves here, not all of them are the same. Yes, so you can actually see that this one is way down more than this one. You get it. So the compressor is here to just tighten up certain stuff so that uh, my vocals wouldn't be going up and down. Some parts wouldn't be playing louder and some parts wouldn't be playing lower. All of them has to be an even volume. Not exactly 100%, but my sound like they are the same. Yeah, you get it. Yes. So these are the settings using this compressor. I, I push the peak reduction around 53.88 and my gain around 40.08 yes that's what i did and the next thing is i i use another compressor i don't like to use one compressor for it to be doing all the work so i have to divide the work for two compressors or three compressors yes so that they can actually work perfectly for me you get it yes so this one the fast attack of 4.82 and fast release of 20.8 and a threshold of negative 15.8 and uh, ratio i set it around 2.42 and i push the gain out because I, because i did compress it i lost some um volume level yes so i had to bring it up just to match up with the beat yes so now oh, if i mute these two and let us concentrate on what we have now this is what we are having now. i get my life you get your life i do things i think is best for mine i did my lane they live my life the way i want me keep be your mind yeah Happiness, I define happiness in what I do. Happiness, I define happiness in what I do. So I don't give a damn. Okay, so that is that. And the next thing is DSR, just to take away the semblances of these vocals, the set words and everything else. So I didn't do too much because this vocal is not having too many semblances in it. You get it. And after that, I just put this EQ on it just to. I make sure my high ends i boosted this high end. most of the times i don't like to boost my vocals um i mean i don't like to um, boost the frequencies of the using the eq you get it boost the high ends or anything i just make sure i cut the ba bad frequencies out and leave it like that but this time i just uh, feel like i'm um, pushing the high ends up and see how it sounds and it sounded good for me and i cut the low ends around 100 hertz a little bit around two decibels out and then it was okay for me when this eq okay so the next thing is our reverb and stops the reverb this is the reverb and this is the setting that i'm using i didn't put the reverb straight on it i just do it fxn like we have been doing if you don't know how we do it just go through my other tutorials you get to know it so the decay around 3.00 and because there is singing not a rap i have to make sure it's this decaying the decay is um actually a little bit late three seconds you get it yes now if it was rap maybe i'll back it down for it not to be washed away and my pre delay around 25.59 cut i use the eq to cut those um background um reverb out around 400 hertz the low end side yes and uh, the mode is concept for can use plate or anything ambient anything of your own which one who will the anything that will work for you just go ahead and use it i think this one work for me and the ping pong delay is the ping pong delay sometimes i use a delay or sometimes um delay from sound toys echo boy yeah but this time around i've been using this and it has been working for me very very well 
so i didn't want the delay to be too much so i brought the mix down and also the feedback down uh one quarter one over four then just set everything so with this just normal treatment uh, it sounds okay so let me just take everything out and see the raw sound and see how it goes <laughs> Let me put the effect on it and see how it sounds. But if you like whatever I'm doing, make sure you subscribe to support the boy, like, and also thumbs up. Comment down there whatever you want us to learn, then we just learn it together. So, this is how it sounds, and um, I'm out. Like